What's up, guy? Once again, you're welcome to our channel today. All right, we are bringing you a tribunal update as it happens. Uh, yesterday, there was serious tension yesterday in the tribunal as both APC and INEC lawyer exchanged words. There was exchange of words yesterday. You know, before this time, both INEC and APC lawyer, they were always on the same page. I mean, always on the same page. They were just like husband and wife. But yesterday, something happened that, that pit themselves against themselves. And that was when Mahmoud Yakubu, the INEC chairman, was subpoenaed by AP and PDP to appear. But although he did not appear by himself, he sent a representative. And according to a Article Obaka wanted the bio data information about Tinobu. You get so I know chairman had to come himself because he was subpoenaed to appear by PDP. And guess what happened? The INEC chairman spilled the bean. He spilled the bean and revealed the bio data of Tinobu. Every detail, personal secret information that Tinobu never wanted anybody to know. And guess what? This totally destroyed Tinobu. You know what was unraveled that yesterday? One, the um, the Chicago University that Tenable claimed he attended, the certificate was not his own. It belonged to a lady. And then also to his age and other detailed information was let out. The, EC, the, the INEC form he filled was revealed to the court that yesterday. And this is so shocking. You know, this is so shocking. So, um, why they were trying to um, cross-examine the witness? APC lawyer kicked against INEC. I, I think this will be the first time ever in the tribunal that you see APC lawyer kicking against INEC's lawyer. They kicked against, you know, the motion for the INEC representative. This is Mahmoud Yakubu representative himself. And people have been questioning why not Mahmoud Yakubu himself, the INEC chairman, appear in person? Why don't he appear in, in person? In the US, if they subpoena you to appear, you don't send representative. You come in person. It's just like when the House of Representatives or Senate wants to meet you, you now send representative. They will drive away the representative. They will chase away the representative. They want to see you. So whenever a, a, this and a, and the court here is another division of power. So when they subpoena you to appear, you are supposed to appear in person. So but however, that yesterday, um, INEC representative, you know, I mean, he, he let out the cat out of the bag. And this has caused a lot of tension in the country right now. It is even rumored that Tinubu is really angry with Mahmoud Yakubu. I mean, he's really, really, really angry with him and that for letting out those information out. And from the look of things now, from the look of things, Tinubu did not meet INEX requirements. INEX requirement was not met. And even Tinubu himself knows that this election, there's going to be a rerun. That is why if you study what Tenebo is doing right now, he is trying to buy the mind of Nigeria. He's trying to buy the minds of Nigerians, you know, so that if there's a rerun, he will buy the heart of people. Look at what he's doing now. Within two weeks, within two weeks, Tenebo have opened border. He opened border, and then he has also signed student loan into law. He signed executive order for student loans. Students can borrow money now. Those who don't have school fees, they can borrow money. Now, it's a very good thing, but the motive behind it is what people are very suspicious uh, of. It's a motive that people are actually suspicious of. So, watch out. You are going to see Tinubu is going to roll out a lot of uh, uh, this thing. He's going to roll out a lot of... Um, uh, that's, he's, he's going to bring out a lot of incentive to buy the heart of people because he knows very well there is going to be a rerun. Why there's going to be a rerun is that the overwhelming evidence in the tribunal is enough. Is enough. Although even the tribunal themselves, they possess the power. Tribunal possess the power to remove even an incumbent president if they see that you did not win the election. They have power to prevent, I mean, to remove you. But ordinary court doesn't have that power. But tribunal as a tribunal, they have the power to remove you. But are they going to do it? I read one, uh, this thing, one, um, 
one broadcast where APC lawyer came out and said, there is nowhere in the world where tribunal have removed a sitting president. That tribunal the world over have never attempted to remove a sitting president. You know, so I, I, I got a glue from what he's trying to say. That means Tinubu might not be removed, but there might be a rerun. And you know what? Guess what? If there is a rerun, you see, the same thing will keep happening again. They will rig again. And then if it will be an article go to court, it will be a waste of time. It will be it will be doing the whole thing all over and all over again. So it makes no sense. You see, that is why our constitution is a fraud. They are supposed to take out this immunity of a thing and make it such that during election, an interim government will oversee the election and then after whosoever wins will take over. That is how it's supposed to be. But you see, the presidential system of government is different from other form of government, you know. But I don't know if the parliamentary system of government actually does that. That during election, an interim government must take over. But I don't actually have an idea on that. But the presidential system of government, the incumbent must remain on seat. You remain on seat. All right, back to what we were saying. Back to what we we're saying. So looking at it now, you just know that um, with all the the hoard of information against Tinobu. Tenebo is not going to win. If you remember, before the prelude to the election, people were attacking Tenebo that he did not get his Chicago uh, degree. He claimed he went to Chicago College, Chicago University, but it's, it was in doubt. So Tenebo is facing multiple challenges in court right now. One, bordering on uh, uh, this thing, um, um, the drug case. He is having in the U.S. the drug case, and also too we also have the irregularities noticed in the election, and then we also have his own bio data. His own bio data proved that Tinubu was not even eligible enough to to have in the first place have contested for election. He was not he was not qualified. So let's watch out and see how the whole thing is going to play out. But suffice it to say, we are waiting to see how everything will actually um, uh, play out. But for now, um, what do you guys think? If you have not signed up, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, you can do well. Hit the red subscribe button on this video right now. And then also, for those of you, you can drop your comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think there's going to be a rerun? Do you think that Tinubu will be removed? Peter B is in court to claim that he won the election. He said he's going to prove it to Nigerians. And guess what? Peter B is actually doing the job. He is proving to Nigeria he won the election. So another video I'll be bringing, Peter B won. There was 2.5 million vote that was not accounted to Peter B. I'll be making a video on that very soon today. So stay put and watch out for that video. What do you guys think about this, please? Kindly drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.